Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to talk to you on the subject of dogs for defense. <clears throat> Today, dogs are being inducted into the army the same as men, and they are playing a vital part in our war program. <clears throat> dogs have proven themselves extremely valuable for such important jobs as messengers, guard duty, life-saving, and numerous other tasks required by the army. <clears throat> Before we accept a dog, he must pass the intelligence test. Our trainer, Andy Panda, will test this dog's reasoning powers. if this fellow can figure it out. Those who pass the test are sent to a training camp. that bugle boy. are served a hearty breakfast. Say, is that real butter? Well, it ain't lard. Because of their keen sense of smell, dogs can detect an enemy at great distance. that army dogs become accustomed to gunfire. Mr. Dog, meet Mr. Gun, one of our big shots. <laughs> See? It won't hurt you. Now, watch the same dog's reaction after a few weeks of training. Terror for the well-trained dog. Help! Help! Gruesome, isn't it? War in the frozen north called for the development of the ski pooch. These dogs are invaluable for rescue work. And by this method of travel, they can reach their objective quickly and safely. Now, how do you suppose I did that? Well, I'll be doggone.
And here's the latest innovation. The These fearless dogs are taught to leap from speeding planes. And, of course, complete equipment follows. That, my friends, is a dog's life in the Army. And don't forget, friends, bonds by bones.